Hey you guys, it's Sunshine Vibes with the High Vibrations. If y'all new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you are returning, thank you for subscribing to your girl. Love and light to you all. I hope everybody's doing good. So I'm going to tap in and see what messages I have for you all today. This is a collective message, so everything may or may not resonate with you. So take what resonates and leave what does not. First off, I want to call on the highest wall of protection, Archangel Michael. Be with me as I channel these messages. Give me nothing but clear and accurate messages for the collective. What do they need to know as far as the current energy? Regret. So somebody's feeling like um, sorrow, okay? I don't know who you are, but the energy has been in this energy for the last couple of days. So I don't know if this is somebody that feels in regret over you. I know that I cannot change the past. Somebody is in regret over the past, over the things that they have done, the things that they have said. Somebody's not feeling too good about how they treat you, how they treated you, or how they are treating you. Love. The song I was channeling is, what you want to <laughs> do for love. You try everything, but you won't give up. Yeah, something about staying balanced. So somebody's in regret because they didn't show you real love. Give me one for Clarify regret. <sighs> we have death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So something's in it for now, I'm learning. Something, somebody is upset because they couldn't end something from you when it comes to your gifts. We have the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Rare gifts. So, okay. <laughs> Whoever this person is that is in regret, okay, they are in regret because it has something to do with their innocence. Uh, you guys could be, you know, full of love and have rare gifts. You could be real tender. <laughs> okay, you have... An inner child about yourself and if somebody they don't have that that's okay though like it don't make <laughs> it don't make somebody better than the other but it's like they don't have that inner child so, so somebody like their past they have a lot of past traumas somebody likes to trauma bond somebody has a lot of uh childhood wounds they need to heal Ooh. Yeah, I can't make this up, y'all. You got the love, and then love is her. So, like, I know all my messages, they don't be about love. And when they do, it don't necessarily have to be like, oh, in love, our partnerships. This is literally self-love, okay? Like, your journey is literally supposed to be solely on healing your own wounds. Literally, you can't go around and okay sometimes a healer heals ourselves so you guys could be a healer and you could be healing healing yourself but we have codependency boundaries you got the love you had the love you always had the love but you could be setting boundaries with somebody from the past and things are ending for them they are in regret about this yeah somebody wants your forgiveness i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to Cause it's something about you overcoming something here. If somebody try to throw y'all some adversities and now you overcoming them, and you still got love, it's like, okay, being in a situation. For example, say you was in a a relationship for years, or not even a relationship. This could be a family dynamic where you constantly let people control you, or constantly let people use you and abuse you, and you still came out innocent like not saying you perfect or you don't don't have sinful ways or it's just saying that you still have an innocence about yourself which it it projects love it's like you still got love for yourself we have empathy and somebody was not showing you any type of empathy in the past they weren't open to seeing both sides of the situation. This is why they feel guilty about your healing. Because they see that you changed and you remember who you are. You surrender something and now you are trusted. Because somebody feels like they blocked 
they own love they own healing process they own freedom yeah relationships i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good and you are attracting people on your vibration yeah i am wanted this is somebody who who made you feel unwanted somebody in the past made you feel unwanted and you still got the love you still are tender you still are free it's like what So what do they want? They want your forgiveness? Yeah. Somebody wants your forgiveness after betraying you. So, somebody wanted to be your enemy so bad and betray you to make you feel isolated and first. Just for you to still have your innocence. Just for you to still be loved. The fool. Just for you to be free. Somebody's realizing they set you free. Yep. Ten of cups with the justice. So you free to be happy, even if this is just your family dynamic, okay? In a merge, you're free. Somebody is scared, they have anxiety about you moving on, and they feel defeated. But they only feel defeated because they try to take this innocence from you. Like, come on, Claire. Yeah. Somebody wanted to like run off with your dreams. I'm hearing this song by Meek Mill's Dreams and Nightmares. I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this. Now I had to <laughs> grind like this to shine like this in the back of a time I spent on some locked up shit. <laughs> so it's like your dreams your inspirations in life somebody wanted to turn all of this into a nightmare for you like literally they wanted to trick you they wanted you to feel betrayed they wanted you to feel sad they wanted you to feel sorrow it's like and you still have dreams you still have hope yeah it's time to move on it's like you got to move on yeah from a karmic woman here you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel like you guys have a deep knowing. Love language. I'm telling you, it's something about your love language. It's something about the way you express yourself. Somebody was like jealous of your dreams. So, say for instance, if you did go through a lot to get to a point where you are like happy with yourself. Even if you didn't accomplish all your dreams and goals, but you working towards them. Somebody is, this karmic woman is mad about this. Yeah, they mad about your freedom and your love. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness, love. I commit the, to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So somebody's mad about this. Yeah, somebody's gossiping and looking you up. Okay. What's going on? Archangel Michael. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for being here. Like I said, you guys are protected. You are being protected here. Because something played out. Okay, so this woman likes to party. So somebody's realizing, like, okay, so maybe this woman don't have any goals, honey. <laughs> and this woman, like, <laughs> yeah, okay, confirmation. This woman doesn't have any goals. She doesn't have any dreams. She doesn't have any aspirations. She could be out of balance. All over the place. And it's like. Somebody needs to. Find self love. Maybe you're not waiting on this person to love themselves. And you shouldn't have to. Like. Meaning like. If this is a partner. Or somebody that you dealt with. If this person is having a hard time, somebody's having a hard time with their self-esteem. If this person having a hard time with self-esteem, yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's something that you cannot fix. I'm getting tired of this energy. People need to really quit trying to fix people. Or quit trying to change people. It's like I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You could be telling this woman like you gotta move on because you are wanting to be happy. I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. 
and you could could be moving away from the past and somebody is not liking this change it's like they want you to change but they want you to change on their time like I said, they wanted to turn your dreams into nightmares so that you will feel some type of way about <laughs> moving on. What is this? Yeah, mad. They wanted you to be mad. Like, somebody is mad, okay? Somebody is really mad because they know you are protecting yourselves. So, if you are not indulging in lies and trickery, it's like... You really are changing. Somebody's really scared about this. They are really scared because they wanted your dreams to be nightmares for you. So, like I said, if you used to pray for times like this <laughs> and you are in a time where you are actually happy with yourself, yeah, that was somebody's biggest nightmare. <laughs> Judgment was for you to be proud of yourself, was for you to be happy. Now somebody's in a judgment because this woman could have said a lot of lies, okay? They could have did a lot of trickery here. When it comes to love, no. Why is judgment here? Clarify judgment. Judgment. Yeah, somebody was lying. They were trying to get the inside scoop on somebody, looking close into somebody's business, being nosy. Yeah, they married for money. So this is why this woman is not happy. This is why this woman's mad. Somebody is mad that somebody is turning their dreams into reality. And they can't benefit off of it. So again, if you have dreams and goals, this woman wants to benefit off of your dreams and your goals instead of having her own aspirations yeah we have hooked why is hooked there yeah you are not dealing with this fool okay you're not dealing with this person somebody's having an ego death for him because they were hooked on they were hooked on somebody was really wishing hoping and praying that you married them so they can get some money okay maybe you did marry this person and you're getting a divorce and it's hurting somebody's ego why is hooked and wish yeah somebody's definitely using children we have children somebody's been very childish here they were lying somebody could have lied about a child as well they wanted somebody to be like constantly giving them money transcend seed self your spirit by going into silent mode so you could be ignoring this woman each time you take away a few things and it gets a little cleaner so <laughs> somebody literally her is transcending their self you are in silent mode you cannot be speaking to this woman because you are elevating your spirit and somebody is so upset by this. Yeah, because you could be building a legacy here. Like I said, you have dreams. Focus on your journey. And you're just focused on your own journey. You like, you want this woman to focus on their aspirations and dreams of life. Yeah, courage. It's like, you can find the inner strength to face for every confidence just like me. Yeah, and find your purpose and be happy. But somebody don't want to grow. It's like somebody's stuck in some type of childish energy like somebody don't want to grow up and you are aware of this fuck shit you are aware something's obvious too something's obvious and this has to do with the stains cause it's like it was giving me this energy of like your innocence like you could be really youthful happy you don't have to be like it's like you're happy, you're youthful, and that's the kind of energy like children have youthful spirits. And it's like if you are running around with this youthful spirit, it's like somebody wanted you to feel like no, they didn't want you to leave them behind because you're transcending. And you're not talking, you're focused on your journey, and you're aware of something. Give me a 
Yeah, a dirty offer. You leaving somebody behind. Because you know this is a dirty offer. Somebody does not serve your higher good, your highest good. They want to make your dreams a nightmare right now. And you could be realizing this. Realization. Processing, becoming aware of a heart center truth. As well as external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So yeah, you are realizing this. You are realizing something. Somebody lied. It's like you being silent exposed the truth. Because somebody is like showing their true colors by their emotions, by how they react. Yeah, definitely. The high priest. Yo, you have an inner knowing. Your intuition is like going off right now. And your intuition is on point. You have to get some type of good news. And somebody's like crying over your good news. We have temptation. Major awakening. I love you and kind. Yeah. So it's like you could even be still being kind to this person. But you're not really saying too much. You don't understand that this woman was tempting you. And this is a major awakening for you. Yeah, nobody but God. <laughs> so confess your faith what did I say dreams and nightmare that song is very significant I used to pray for times like this to where I'm like you got to confess your faith because people need to hear your story on her this woman could be really jealous about your testimony about what you've been through how you overcame obstacles yeah this person is like stuck in the past you could be winning a jackpot There is some type of good news. Something really good is coming in for you guys. Your dreams are about to turn into reality. But yeah, trust. I feel like it all has to do with you trusting though. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. I feel like God is like literally trying to encourage you to get a divorce. Yeah, he wants you to be still because he's seen it all. God's seen it all. Be still. Especially, yeah, somebody's failing to keep you stuck. Like I said, somebody want to turn your dreams into nightmares. They judged you too fast. And you paid that karmic debt. So somebody was like trying to get the inside scoop on you, trying to see the worst again. Trying to see like if you owe anybody, if you owe anything, and like what? And you don't. You just minding your business, and it's like somebody's like, I don't need your mix. You know, funny laughs. Manifest your desires. This woman is giving the Lulu, you know, toxic ways. And 555 try to set you up. And you have pure, unconditional love. So, yeah, there is major changes happening right now because this woman and her toxic ways. Like, it's like, find something that you want to do for you. They scared to tell you the truth because you relax, you calm. Somebody feels like you, you're too bold. Maybe somebody's afraid of, like, how you, I don't know, somebody's just afraid. Whoever this woman is, pray for this woman because it's like somebody really has done something to her innocence. Somebody really has done something to her spirit. Um, it's giving me this energy like, okay, we go through things sometimes as even children and people stay stuck in this place of hurt. So somebody has abandonment issues. And they feel like it's you move forward then you're gonna abandon them Shut my door. Uh, yeah somebody feels like you're gonna move on and work with somebody three of pentacles with the king of pentacles they feel like that you are going to work with somebody but i feel like no you're just studying your focus right now we have taurus and virgo energy Sagittarius energy out here. But yeah, you're building. Somebody is really working hard to build up their dreams. It's like somebody's focusing on bettering themselves. And somebody has to accept this. 
So 528, that could be solar plex energy here, solar plex chakra. It has a lot to do with your little willpower. We have universal mind and savage. So yeah, somebody wanted to disturb your peace. Because you have a universal mind. Situationship, shame on me, and plot twist using info to get control. Yeah, somebody is still losing though. <laughs> It's like they're getting so much insight and awareness on nothing because it's not benefiting them. Somebody's focusing on their goals. And this person's crying over you because they were trying to act like you and be like you. Because they really wanted to turn your dreams into nightmares. But this person can't be like you because they're always playing. Focus on the family that you created. So this could be what you are focused on. You could be just focused on your family. Yeah, somebody is a divination abuser. Somebody's just mad it's not them, okay? So you, if you have a family with somebody, or if you are into divination, okay, and this could be your family, somebody in your family, okay? Somebody's into divination, they abuse it though, and they are mad because maybe you get messages and it's not them. They don't, yeah, most high. It, it's literally giving me this energy. <laughs> they want to turn your dreams into nightmares, but I understand this. Whatever you are doing, you have a contract. We have soul contract, and it's literally from God. It's like the most high. Somebody is has a contract with the devil. It's like you're doing something for the most high. Somebody else is doing something because you're doing it and they, they want to do it. So it's like, if I can't do what you're doing, then I'm going to make this a nightmare for you. But you feel energy when you walk in the room and now somebody's confused because they wasn't being honest. Just tell the truth. This one is not going to tell the truth because they don't have any dreams. Whatever dreams and aspirations, they got them from somebody else. Like Somebody planned their whole life through somebody else. It's like giving me this energy. Somebody is trying to live through you. They're trying to live through you. Yeah, you about to get some good news. This woman needs to focus on her kids. Maybe that's why she doesn't feel any innocence. Because somebody be going through CPS issues. Let's... Like, yeah, focus on the family you created. Somebody is, like, trying to look into your family life and your dynamic. And they need to be focused on their own family, their kids and shit. Like, get a grip. Clarify CPS case. Y'all, I can't make this up. Somebody's definitely going through child services and they should be spending time reflecting but instead they are spending time trying to look up information when it comes to you it's like dude your kids is about to be taken away and you still at her party and, and then on top of that you divination abusing trying to act like somebody like get a grip of yourself somebody really need to talk to this person we have earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn that's thirsty for attention we have 999. Yeah, some type of cycle is complete. Yeah, y'all. It's still, it's an omen. Anytime anything falls on the floor, child abuse, neglect. Somebody is neglecting their kids, but watching you, looking you up. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this? Yeah, I'm going to be nice, but whoever this is, they need to get a grip because they're projecting. Somebody is like projecting that energy that they went through on their kids like so you're gonna take your child innocence and treat them bad because of how you feel and you a fucking whole adult man come on now you grown as fuck it's like get your shit together get it together pull yourself together sis really pull yourself together this person done woke your fucking ancestors up 
Because it's like, get pull your shit together, sis. Get readings on your life daily. Pull your shit together. Nobody is responsible for your happiness, bruh. And then if you got kids, you should be focused on these fucking kids. You looking into somebody else's life and like, go focus on your fucking kids. Why is child services hurt? Abundance is my birthright. So somebody's upset because you're in your purpose, sir. You understand that abundance is your birthright. You could be moving. Oh, wait. Somebody is weird, yo. Somebody's trying to get away because they are gay for pay. So this person is going through a whole lot. It's like they need help, but instead of just going within, healing those wounds so they can reflect and grow, it's like, nah, I'm gonna just do. It's giving me this energy. Somebody's been fighting this bird. Like, it's a spirit. So maybe somebody needs to get away or somebody needs to just focus on something else, y'all. Learn to be a better man and woman. New doors. Okay, and this man is on a DL. Yeah, so somebody is very childish. They have uh, entity attachments. They have entity attachments. Okay. They do. They have entity attachments. And this could be from like childhood traumas. Okay. This woman could, could be going through a lot when it comes to CPS services, child protective services, because of this man, because of this attachment. Clarify this. Yep, karmic friends, secret competition. Somebody's weird. If this is a man in competition with you, this man's weird. <laughs> weird as fuck. Because you're manifesting your first million dollars. So again, it's giving me this energy. Somebody want to turn your fucking dreams into nightmares because they are on some down low shit. Yeah, they wanted your money and it's facts. They know it though. Like it's giving me this energy now. Like some people be knowing your destiny. Like this person could even be looking into your shit. Like looking into your stuff, your chart, your birth chart, literally figuring shit out about you. Because somebody really wanted your money. Yeah, this person's on drugs. They got drug addictions. And you guys, child, it's like somebody want to drag you down with them. Because they don't know themselves. They have childhood wounds. They have not healed from. It's like, uh, you're so perfect. Yeah, they playing dumb. <laughs> Coming to your face acting like they ain't trying to turn your whole life into a whole fucking nightmare. Like you ain't free. You are free. I have fun while it lasts. Moving on to better. Yeah, you know somebody's a snake. They fake. This, you know what I'm getting. This was like a whole plot twist just to take your innocence. It's like somebody seen you healing, growing, and <laughs> manifesting. And they was like, yeah. We have universal law, karma. A lot of good energy and vibes. Support coming your way. Yeah, you about to get justice for this. Because it's like it, it, it was beyond you. Something was really beyond you. It's like, that's not even your problem can't fix this person this person has to fix themselves so yeah so they started digging dirt on you and then they want to travel because they could be being exposed we have alien telepathic same shit different day yeah somebody's scared but you cleanse your energy Yeah, but this person is really stuck in the past. They have bad habits. They have drug addictions. They have a lot of toxicity. I mean, to man and woman, y'all can't make this up. Somebody sees you a humble beast. You get a level up, upgrade. You guys could be a writer. You can have those to be a writer. Somebody can want to take you on a spontaneous date. Yeah, this person is really in love with you. I like man and woman. Somebody is confused about their sexuality. This could be somebody's child's mother, too. 
doesn't necessarily have to be a man. You take what resonates with you. But be, keep praying. Talk to God and not people and God says. I feel like that's where this person went wrong. Because I feel like you would have helped this person heal from their issues. But it was like, you're not going to help them heal if they're going to sit there and project on you. I make you feel some type of way because you still have your innocence. And things, something could have happened to you, too. But, I mean, you still, you're not playing a victim. This person wants to be a victim so bad. It's like, everybody around me got to be a victim. And if you're not, if they're not going through child uh, protective services issues, they could have dealt with something like this in the past, okay? And they have not healed from this. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh, good one. She's in her. Back her. Be true to yourself in all your ways. Not everyone will get you. They can only understand from their level of perception. And that's no that's on them. No matter what people say, don't ever doubt your worth or beauty you hold within. Stand tall in your power. Yes. Yeah, so if somebody wanted to take that from you. Like, that useful energy, your innocence. Where you are right now is where you're supposed to be. Don't compare yourself to others. That only adds pressure. Take each day as it comes and for what it is. You are a better person than you were yesterday. Growth isn't easy, but you got this. No matter how much you are being tested or pushed right now, stand your ground and push back. Believe in your own integrity, self-worth so much that no one can get in your way. Have the confidence to move forward. You can and you will do this. Yeah. So you will. Your dreams will be turned into reality. Okay? Things will work in your favor. Trust and wait. You are being prepared for your blessings in order to receive. You have to be ready to receive. Things you are going through right now are, ran are not just random. Trust the flow of the universe. Yeah, so it's like you had to trust the process. Okay, trust. You have to trust your process. This person got to learn to trust their process as well. And things would be so much better if people just focus on their own journey. Focus on their own kids. Focus on their own shit. Like, people just be out here doing the most. And <laughs> feel like everything's a competition. Like, it's not. It's like, heal. Just go heal. Alright, that's all I got for y'all. Love and light. Namaste, Asha.